I am Robert Smalley. I'm one of the original uh, founders and inventors of the Surge Box. We wanted to design one product that could be used for a wide range of surgical issues that needed a sterile environment. You can do surgeries that would otherwise require a sterile operating room in environments that don't offer that. 90% of the workflow are things that already would have been done, like appendicitis or getting a gallbladder out or needing a piece of the colon resected. From the very beginning, it was designed to be something that if you were getting surgery there, regardless of where you are, you would be proud to do it. And that's why we focus so much on, can we get this cleaner inside than in any OR, at least as clean as if you're in an operating room in Boston. We've gotten testimonials back from a regional commanding general in Ukraine, specifically thanking us for Surgebox and saying that it is making a difference on the ground for their troops who are being operated on in field hospitals and tents. The number of people who are dying of surgically treatable things like appendicitis, stuff like that, is really higher than HIV, malaria, and TB combined. And so it's something that we want to be usable in the field, but also have something to offer an intensive care unit in Boston or in a ambulatory surgery kind of setting or any setting really where you need surgery at the point of the patient, at the point of need. And so that's the idea behind Surgebox. I had a wonderful experience with uh, Harvard Innovation Labs as part of the President's Challenge. Getting the text that we had won was a tremendous feeling. To have the President of Harvard's name on something that said, this is the most promising innovation that we've seen this year, that opened a tremendous amount of doors for outside funding. More importantly, for Surgebox, the money was immediately helpful, but the credibility behind that was priceless. To see Surgebox being used like this in the real world has been an absolute dream and an absolute joy.